starting off really tough right away. We're gonna have to merge over and hopefully the card does it and it's not getting over so the person <laughs> next to me is probably like, okay, are you gonna do it or what? Okay, so there, you can see, this is, is that enough traffic for you, LA? Is this enough? Is this enough traffic, LA? I hope so. Are you, what do you, okay. See, it's gonna be really awkward. God, I kinda hate this right now. And it cancels. Oh, what are you doing? That was like the perfect opportunity. Pretty good job. A little slow and awkward. Oh, am I getting, oh yeah, I got honked at by that red truck. Sorry, slow lane change. All right, so red truck did not like that lane change by autopilot. So this intro is a little weird because everything's already done. Normally I just record as things happen. Um, this was supposed to be a Tesla challenge for super heavy traffic, but it's not cooperating. And normally this route that I take is like insane traffic, especially you can see there's construction and all kinds of weird stuff going on. Um, and there was a couple pockets of heavy traffic. So I'm just gonna cut this up and show you uh, some of Autopilot's faults and some places where it excelled in this heavy traffic. Um, I was actually surprised by some of it. it. It handled some of the lane changes and stuff really well. Others I get honked at at one point and stuff like that. Um, so check out these clips. Let me know what you think of Autopilot and heavy traffic for the LA people. You know, I'm, I'm trying. You guys are always complaining that the traffic's not heavy enough. Uh, that's why I'm cutting this up. I'm not gonna make it a full Tesla challenge when there was only a few spots of the heavy traffic. Check out these clips, uh, talk to me down in the comments, let me know what you think about this and your experience with autopilot and heavy traffic. Do you use Navigate on autopilot? Um, normally in some of these I would have taken over, but I, the car did handle it. So this one's kind of a redo of the heavy traffic one that I did. Um, it was very popular and it is a big question people have, how does autopilot handle heavy traffic? But the traffic wasn't all that heavy. I had a lot of complaints and a lot of people asking for a redo. So today I'm gonna be going through Detroit during rush hour. So of course there will be a ton of traffic. So we're on the highway, challenge starts right now. Um, I'm gonna try not to interact with the car anymore for the rest of the drive. Um, there is one point in this drive where the highway does turn into uh, kind of side streets with stoplights and stuff. So of course I'll have to do that, but I'll still let the car handle as much of that as it can, because um, it technically can do some of it if there's you know cars to stop me at the stoplights and stuff. Um, so right now, starting off really tough right away, we're gonna have to merge over and hopefully the car does it. Okay, so I just turned the turn signal on. I don't wanna look like too much of a jerk here. Um, so it is gonna wait next to this pickup and the person here is not letting me in. Not very nice of them. Okay, and the next car is gonna let me in. So you can see here, even though traffic is pretty much stopped, um, the car's doing a good job turning its turn signal on, waiting for a gap, um, and it's not getting over so the person <laughs> next to me is probably like, okay, are you gonna do it or what? Um, but the car needs a little space to actually do its thing. So now it's very slowly getting over. Awesome, the person let me in, very nice. Make sure you know you wave to them when they when they do that for you. Um, and so now the car wants to get back over, but there's no lane there. Okay, so little confused already with the heavy traffic. police officer, so I'm glad that I'm not speeding. All right, so this was a pretty good move. Uh, still not much traffic around, of course, when I try to record this video for you guys. Normally this part of the highway is pretty jammed up. Okay, so squeezing into a decently tight spot there. Um, again, this camera, things are closer than they look. And then of course we get over and we're only doing 70. Uh, so the guy's like, what the heck? But I mean, everybody's kind of in our way. This is the fastest lane. We are passing, so I guess this is the right spot to be. Um, but the, if the car isn't aggressive enough here, you know, to, to keep the gap closed and, and look like it's passing other cars, people will kind of get annoyed with that.
right, that was weird. So we had our turn signal on, but that truck kind of like quickly got in the lane and went next to us and the Tesla waited. I don't know if it's just a consequence of how long it takes for lane changes to actually happen. Wow, that was almost too good. <laughs> it did like found a really nice gap. Now I am a bit worried about this exit. Um, okay, don't, no, that's not good. That's not what we want. Um, I'm a bit worried about this exit because in the past, it just totally drives right past it and it's gonna, oh crap, it's gonna pass it. What are you, okay, well, that's the end of Tesla challenge number whatever the heck. Uh, <laughs> Well, that's stupid. The car failed and we didn't even hit any traffic really. Okay, so there, you can see, This is, is that enough traffic for you, LA? Is this enough? Is this enough traffic, LA? I hope so. I really hope the car actually like gets over <laughs> because if not, okay. So it's already starting, that's good. Um, so anyway, if you're new to Tesla Challenge, really briefly, I, wow, that lane change was awesome. <laughs> I set the car somewhere to go home or wherever I'm going and I try to do what Tesla says it can do which is on ramp to off ramp with no interventions I do have to pay attention I have to have a hand on the wheel but I'm not doing anything so like the car is gonna do it all if I have to do anything then that's a fail and I usually will end the video um, with the fail so cars handling all this craziness really good so uh, with that said, um, I probably forgot some stuff. It'll either be some words on the screen or in the description. Um, enjoy this heavy traffic. This is heavy traffic, okay? You can keep complaining if you want, but this is heavy traffic. So we have one, two, three, four lanes right now. Um, that's another thing people ask for is more lanes in these challenges, so here you go. Um, there won't be any interchanges besides the ones you just saw. Um, we just gotta get to the exit and the car's gotta take the exit. But I am interested how it's gonna handle like, cause obviously right now we should be passing, right? Cause we're going slower, but it's not changing lanes. So hopefully it takes into account that everybody's kind of slow and it doesn't need to ping pong too much. Um, but we'll see, I, I really think there's gonna be probably some awkward situations with lane changes coming up. So still moving to the center of widening lanes. Very annoying, please stop doing that. And not, oh God. <laughs> okay, I thought, that, I thought we were done. I thought the semi was just gonna take us off the road. Um, you know, we have the new version 10 ability of, oh geez, of um, <laughs> moving over for semis and it didn't use it there. Um, are you, what do you, okay. See, it's gonna be really awkward. God, I kinda hate this right now. Um, but we'll see if somebody will let us in. Um, it, you, you can see for a while it's wanted to change lanes. So uh, this lane ends and turns into an exit. So that semi is letting us in. Okay, okay, or the cars. And it cancels. Oh, what are you doing? That was like the perfect opportunity. All right, again, it's telling us moving over. We need to, because in a half mile, this lane is going to just turn into an exit ramp. Um, so we're stopping kind of right next to this guy. He probably doesn't even see the turn signal, but the person behind him seems to be letting us in. And pretty good job, a little slow and awkward. Oh, am I getting, oh yeah, I got honked at by that red truck. Sorry, slow lane change, all right. So red truck did not like that lane change by autopilot. Nice job letting that car in. I was watching here and it, it took a second for the car to lock on, but it was obviously quick enough. Um, then it canceled lane change here. So you can see now we're down to two lanes because of the construction barrels over there. Uh, Autopilot still sees that as a lane, I guess, um, which is pretty interesting. We will probably, okay, now that lane's gone. Uh, we will probably get a message here, construction detected, but uh, we'll see. Okay, I don't know, it keeps turning the turn signal on and I don't know if it's canceling the lane changes or what it's, this is what it was doing uh, when Stephanie was trying to do this. 
Uh, that video is hilarious if you haven't seen it. Um, but it kept turning the turn signal on for just a second and turning it off. I have no idea what's happening there. All right, now, it, it, this whole time it's been turning the turn signal on and off over and over again. And yeah, it just canceled again. So I don't know, that's pretty weird. Um, I'm not sure why it won't just get over. Another attempt. We have a car coming up and oh, the, <laughs> okay. Yep, they, I mean, if they're gonna get in the way, then the car's gonna not do it. So it, I personally thought they were giving me space to get over. Uh, so I wasn't even coming close to stopping the car. And then it seemed like they sped up right at the last second as I started to change lanes. So I don't know what that was about. Okay, and this is where I have to take over because the highway is all torn up from, ah, screw it. Okay, let me just 